Yesterday, I did some work on the beehives, which was pretty great. I put the swarm, which is now known as thing two, into their own box, their own hive. They have a deep and they have a top feeder. So they have a top entrance as well as a bottom entrance. And I opened up the reducer on the bottom so they had more room to go in and out. And I was just in the hive by myself so I don't have pictures. But there, I did not see the queen, but where there were no eggs yesterday, there were eggs today. So I was pretty excited about that. This is the top feeder that I'm using. So those are mason jars and they have in them one to one sugar water. So that's what they're going to use to build out comb. That's different than the feeder that's on my other hive, which is a top feeder, which holds more water, more sugar water for a longer amount of time. I'm going to go around the, around the back of the hives because everybody's busy out and active this morning and veiled because I was just in there and they don't love me at the moment. Well, they're not really too bad. So this is the thing one hive, the original hive with the queen rose. I haven't named my other queen yet. So these girls are pretty chill and they're doing exactly what they need to be doing. Um, they've got four, almost five full frames of brood, which I expect to be emerging in the next couple of days. And that will be really exciting to have baby bees. They are, I gotta get some more sugar today. They are drinking down the sugar water like nobody's business and building out comb as they're supposed to be. So that's the top feeder for those girls. Um, pretty excited going into the weekend again because I think very shortly I will come out here and see a whole bunch of new bees as they were getting pretty close to emergence from their brood. So, good stuff. Uh, awesome. And pretty cool seeing eggs in thing to the swarm because they were homeless uh, just a couple of days ago. So, there we go.